Okay, time to take a look at the AKM 33 piece flex head ratcheting wrench set. I do appreciate it actually comes with a case like this. We got a bunch of metric sockets, we got a bunch of e-torques, we got some regular torques, we got some adapters, and then we got our main wrenches. So this is a 14 and a 19, but they are kind of special. Our 14, we can see we got a 12 point in there, and this is a long range bar. We got a flex head ratcheting wrench on the other side. What you might notice if you look in there is there is a little ring just on the inside. So that ring is gonna act as a spring, and that is going to clip onto our sockets. You can see our socket, this is a size 10, and has those little notches in it. So when we put that inside, and it's going to snap and engage with that spring so that's not going to come out. That's going to turn this 14 into a 10. But you can also see that is going to be a very low profile ratchet. Not only is it not sticking out past the ratchet, it is actually sunk into the ratchet itself. So if you need to fit something into a very tight area, basically what you would get with a ratcheting wrench, this is going to be an excellent option for that. Plus the fact that you got this entire set, you don't have to carry around a huge set of ratchet wrenches. So very nice idea. It is a flex head so you can get that in at odd angles. It can also be handy if you got that thing broke loose and you can just kind of pick it up and spin it around like yay. Very handy tool to have and having that long bar in there is going to give us a lot of leverage and see that is chrome vanadium and it's printed 14 millimeter on both sides i also appreciate they put an arrow on there so you know exactly which way this is going to drive so we got our 14 millimeter and we've got a 19 millimeter and that is just going to accommodate the different size sockets so the bottom row this is all going to be for the 14 millimeter so for that we have 8 9 10 11 and 12 and the top row for the 19 millimeter that is 13 15 16 17 18 21 and 22 for the e-torques we've got e8 e10 11 12 16 18 20 and 22 and these will snap on very much the same Way. This style looks a lot more like a nano socket, so you can see it is still going to clip in, but that is going to take up much less room than you would get if you had a 3/8 drive and then the socket sitting on top of that. So you can fit this still in much tighter areas than you would fit a normal ratchet. It is also handy that that is hollow, so if you need to fit this over something like an all thread, you'll be able to do that. It does appear that these are all six point, which is excellent, and it appears that they are all drilled out on the corners, which is going to be excellent for off corner loading. Now it does appear that most of these sockets are going to be fully flush, meaning that they're going to fit directly into the head and there won't be anything really sticking out. There's only these three on the and they're going to be sticking out a little bit. The 18, the 21, and the 22. And although it is a fairly niche requirement where something like this can come in handy is if you have two bolts that are very close together, there's a plate on top of that, so you have to fit something in there that's going to be fairly low profile. But we need to attack this bolt first. We'll be able to slip this in. We'll be able to drop it over that bolt without interfering with this bolt. So sometimes these nano sockets really are the best thing to get a job done. Realistically, I think just having a full set like this that you can carry around in a small case is going to be the thing that really sets us apart. We also have regular torques. We got T20, 25, 30, 40, 45, and 50. And we have some adapters over here. So if you don't want to use one of these sockets, you want to use another socket from your set, we can just use this guy. We've got half inch, three eighths, and quarter inch drive. And they all have a push button release on the back. So that is to drop that detent in. And then lastly, we have a bit holder that is magnetic. And this is to hold our Torx drive bits. So we can clip that in and turn that into a Torx drive ratchet. And I do appreciate that as a fairly thick drive, that is not your standard quarter inch drive. So that's going to make these fairly tough. Cool. So yeah, super handy set to have. If you're looking for a mobile set, especially a mobile set that can handle regular sockets as well as torques, this is going to be a fantastic option for that. Overall, I am very happy with that.